Cool, go for it. Go. All right, so in this video, I'm going to attempt to show how to use Wave Server plugins, uh, inserts on the SD9. So I've got a mix going, it's looping around, and I've got the, 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 con the concert, yeah, right, the um, setup, the console setup in horizontal mode. So I'm going to bring up my lead vocal over here on 18. There's the vocal. I'm going to mute all the other channels. We're going to put some inserts on this vocal. Turn the volume down a little bit. Uh, get me out of the main screen. Select my channel. I can see my channel. And uh, there's two places I can insert this on a channel. I've got an insert before the EQ and compress, and I have an insert after. I prefer to put compressors before my EQ so that my EQ does not comp change my compression ratio, my compression threshold. So I'm going to select my insert here, this top insert. It brings up a little pop for the insert. Insert A I'm on. I want to turn the insert on and the vocal will disappear when I do that because it's not going to the insert. Do note that down here I actually have a physical button that does that same thing. Now I'm going to patch the insert to the Waves processor. To do that I go insert A send and I pick the Waves button and I pick a Waves that I'm not using. The blue ones are being used. Wave 7 I'm not using. And then I got a return from the Waves processor, so I say insert a return. Do note that a lot of students forget to do the send and return. You gotta do both. Waves, wave set one through 16, subtract, select wave seven, I can't speak today. And now we've got to and from the Waves processor. We're not hearing it because we have nothing patched at the Waves processor. I'm gonna go to the master screen. I'm gonna bring up the Waves the, with the Waves tab at the top of the screen. And I'm actually going to go to the keyboard here and just use the mouse to make it a little easier to see what I'm doing. Um, and uh, uh, so this is my Waves rack. I've got a bunch of different processors, different things being used on different instruments. For example, I have the DBX160 on the kick drum. Notice the little arrow right there. That'll get me back to look at the whole rack. Um, I've got a bunch of different processors and different things. I'm going to add a new rack here for this vocal chain. Probably could name it and all that. I haven't learned how to do that yet. But I click Add to Rack and Mono because it's just a vocal. One. Okay. And here it is. Now i got to patch into it using the Wave 7 that we have on that insert. So this is my input patch. And Mono, SD, here we go. Come on. It's actually easier to do this with my fingers and not the mouse. Wave 7. And it automatically patched the output over here. I wonder if we can name this. Oh, yes, but now, of course I can't see anything on the keyboard, but I could name it vocal channel if I wanted to. Anyway, let's put a compressor on this. I'm going to turn the volume down. I'm going to put a compressor on this. Lots of good choices here. Uh, I recommend you try, and I clicked plus, I recommend you try the Puig Tech 660, or the really easy one is the CLA 2A. And this is a LA-2A, double click right there. And here's the LA-2A. To adjust these parameters, click the parameter you want and uh, you can use the touch turn knob down here on the console. So I'm gonna tweak the, uh, raise the, lower the threshold here, get a little bit more level, a little bit gain reduction. Cool, so I've got it nice and smooth, LA-2As. Keep it kinda under, under minus six. It'll smooth, be really, really sweet. That's a little too much. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, while I'm at it, I might as well show you you can make chains of um, chains of effects if you want. And a vocal is kind of cool sometimes to have double compression, a smooth, uh, a smooth compressor followed by a faster limiter. So I'm going to click the plus button here. And I'm going to select the wrong thing first. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. And why did I do that? Just to point out that if you don't want something, you have to right-click with the mouse. I haven't figured out how to do it on screen, but I'm right-clicking. And I go, get rid of that. And this time we're going to add the correct thing. We're going to put in, try the Wave C4. This is a multi-band compressor. It's pretty burly. It can do a lot of incredible things. You can have independent frequency bands doing all sorts of different things. You need to learn how to use this. It's a very popular live sound compressor. But for the moment, I can turn down the threshold of all the bands just by clicking there and lowering it. You can watch it on the meters. And when I start hitting... The threshold, you can see how much it's gain reducing. It's doing its thing. You're going to want to learn how to play with this. But basically, we've got an LA-2A followed by C4. And we know that this is working because we already set up that send and return. There you go. That's the video.